everybody. Uh, my name is Boaz Rosman, and I'm a student at the Open University, a graduate student. Uh, I'd like to present a uh, work of, uh, I've been working on uh, with uh, David Lawrence of the Department of Computer Science. It's called uh, Sedalian, and it is a language-oriented programming language. So, uh, this language-oriented programming, what's that? Well, it's a, it's a paradigm, um, a software development paradigm that uh, places languages, domain-specific languages, at the center of the uh, software development process. So, um, LLP, language learning programming, uh, goes from the middle out. It starts with a DSL definition. A, a, a DSL, a domain-specific language, that is designed for the specific application that we wish to uh, develop. It goes up to uh, implementing our application using this DSL, and down uh, to an implementation of the, of the DSL. The, together, the whole uh, makes it uh, makes the entire implemented software. Um, the advantage of this approach is the fact that the DSL definite that the DSL is very expressive because we designed it for the specific application we intend to uh, implement. Um, this makes the application implementation very precise. Ideally, it's it's merely a formalization of the specifications, and the DSL implementation, however, is very. Uh, reusable because we can use the same DSL for similar but different applications. Now, if we want to take this reusability one step further, we can use uh, several interoperable DSLs instead of just one. So uh, each such DSL addresses one problem domain and can be reused in that scope. Now, the question is, how do we do this? How do we do LLP? We need some kind of a platform to allow us to efficiently develop DSLs. So <clears throat> um, there are a couple of ways. One way uh, is to use um, <coughs> is to use a general purpose uh, programming language such as Lisp or Ruby, and develop um, DSLs on top of those languages. Uh, such Languages can, uh, well, if you know, for example, uh, Ruby on Rails, it's a platform that makes heavy use of Ruby based DSLs. Another approach would be to have um, IDEs, integrated development environments, for developing uh, DSLs and using them, such as the Intentional Workbench and MPS. Now, uh, Martin Fowler divides it into two groups internal DSLs and external DSLs. Um, <coughs> powered by language workbenches. Now, <coughs> these two groups have very, uh, um, these two groups have um, trade-offs. Internal DSLs are known to be easy to implement, while ex external DSLs are, uh, provide us more freedom in defining our uh, syntax and semantics. So the question is, can we join these, uh, well, can you control these trade-offs? Can you take the best of both worlds? Now, it's obvious that we cannot create um, a DSL that is both internal and external. But maybe we can look at it at, uh, from a quite different perspective. So in this work, we, we, we look at it from a language design perspective, where instead of looking at external DSL, we look uh, at language workbenches and specifically the features that they give us, namely um, projectional editing and static analysis. So when this is the map of our design world, we know where we want to be. We want to be right in the middle, and that's where Sedalian is. So uh, internal DSLs, um, I hope I gave you a little um, overview of what they are. Uh, static analysis is a pretty uh, well-known term. Uh, I want to take a minute or so to uh, discuss what uh, projection editing is. So, <coughs> projection editing uh, is a way for humans to uh, communicate with computers. 
humans understand text, while computers understand um, virtual and um, virtual structures such as graphs and trees. So, with tra project and traditional programming languages, we have well, humans write their code into text files and then parse them, and then compilers and, inter and interpreters parse them into abstract syntax trees. Uh, with projectional editing, we work the other way around. We have persistent model that is being projected to a view so that uh, humans can understand it. Now, when we want to make changes, we perform editing from the view, modifying the model, and the changes are reprojected to a view in order to, in order for us to uh, see what we did. Now, th this is very similar to model view controller architecture. <coughs> so, uh, here is a little peek at uh, our uh, work at Sedalian. We will see the same, well, this is a screenshot, we, we will see the same thing live in a demo in a few minutes, but um, <coughs> just to, uh, w w what I like about this uh, screenshot is the fact that it captures the entire LOP process on just one slide. We have here a DSL definition, a DSL implementation, and a DSL code implementing very, very simple uh, application. 